Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. I got a big, big update for you on the Blazer and I don't know if you can see a little bit. Move over a little bit. Oh, right there. Uh, so <laughs> I do have footage of it and here it is. We are restoring the Blazer to its former glory. I currently have these little babies sitting in my storage room and uh, I can't wait to get them back on the Blazer because it really does look like crap without them. And three, and why only three? Well, that's because I already had a full size spare over here. So I don't have to do, almost like I planned it. So I don't have to do all four, I only have to do three. Right there is the new one. It's been a while since I have driven the Duramax on camera. I drive it all the time off camera, but driven it much on camera. Still sounds insane. And I love the fact that I have the uh, high idle tune for the turbo. So if you can hear it now, and then I turn this dial. So epic. Um, I, I am basically a 12 year old. It's saying that I have always, always loved. I never grew up. My toys just got more expensive. And that pretty much sums up my entire life. As always, back at Tire Mart, and it is packed full house here, which it usually is. What's up, partner? Uh, same old. How about you? Well, I'm doing well. What are you bringing us? Uh, some wheels and tires. Nice. I didn't want you to come out at 8 o'clock tonight. Why? Well, I didn't know there was anything to do with mental. Let's get rid of those. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Easy as that. Dropped off. And uh, just in time for the rain. It's funny, Justin said, like, didn't we just do this? And he did. He literally, like a week ago, took off those same tires off of those same wheels to give them to Bobby for his truck and now I got the same ones but um, I couldn't not have them so whatever the good thing is about this time of year you know like just a second ago it was raining so if you don't like the weather like let's say it's raining and cold all you got to do is wait 15 minutes and then it'll be like 85 and sunny and then if you don't like the Sun you wait another 15 minutes back to being cold the noise by the way my buddy Victor's over here uh oh, he's my landscaping guy there he goes show us your hot cam yeah you race cam bam All right, let's see the little green beast now. The little green beast. The blazer is gonna be back, baby. He's gonna be back. Now see, doesn't that look cool now? Now it really actually does look like a military truck and those wheels match the green perfectly. I know it looked like absolute crap, like absolute dog crap with those stock wheels and tires on, but now, that is the complete look. So let me know what you think in the comments below, but I am loving the Blazer once again, and I feel like it has been restored to its former glory, but even better now. The new and improved Blazer convertible. A few people were asking me, you know, Mike, that's all well and good for the videos, but like, are you serious? Like, do you actually like the Blazer and you drive it around like that? And the answer is yes, absolutely. I love it. It's my daily driver. And I think it's great. I really thoroughly enjoy driving it. It puts a smile on my face. Uh, you do get some great reactions from other people as well. And uh, the Blazer is now looking epic once again. Yes, the Blazer is back to life. And I didn't want to put that all on the Jeep upload because that was already 18 minutes long. And I felt like it was going to be, you know, 25 minutes long if I put the Blazer stuff in. And most people don't have time to watch that long of a video. But yes, the Blazer has been brought back to life. I think it looks perfect. As I said a few times, yeah, it didn't look all that good with the new color and the stock wheels and tires on it, but now that it has those, 
that's what really, you know, it needed that to tie the whole look together, and I think it's perfect. Literally looks perfect. It looks exactly like a little military truck, and I'll tell you what, boys, I could not be happier with my driveway setup right now. I couldn't be happier. I love it. Even went out in the Blazer and I got kayaks. And as you can see, they fit in here perfectly. Everything about the Blazer right now is perfect. And Dick's, by the way, is having an amazing sale on kayaks uh, for Memorial Day. You can get each one for 150 bucks and the paddles are only $39.98. Not a sponsored upload, but if Dick's wants to sponsor me, I'd be happy with it. Dick Sporting Goods. Love the Blazer. Love, love, love the Jeep. I think it turned out so incredible. Uh, if you didn't see that upload, check it out. And I love the Dirty Max. Now we got to go help out Bobby, but this is a tough one. Do we take the Jeep or the Blazer? I don't want to take the big truck. This thing's been running all over the place, getting wheels and tires lately. Um, so Jeep. Do love driving the Jeep. And besides the fact that it's a fun vehicle, I love it because of this right here. I miss it. Here he is. He's got his uh, hood up and his door open. That's never, never a good sign. If you guys have any ideas, what would cause the ignition fuse to keep blowing in that truck? What would cause that? That's what he's trying to figure out. A little side-by-side -side opportunity here. Here we got a uh, Procom 35 and a Procom 33. These are the exact same tire, and you can see the size difference there between the two. Pretty significant. 33, 35 little side-by-side -side comparison. He's got his uh, disinfectant towelettes out. I don't know what that means. We got the steering wheel cover off. That's something. I do really like this old truck though. I love the fact that it's an old diesel. You don't see very many OBS diesels. Up, Scrooge buddy? McDuck. What is up, man? What's up, man? I appreciate Howard? you coming out. Well, I, I don't think I'm gonna be much help, but I brought you the uh, SD card you needed. Well, thanks, buddy. So you Thank got you that. So much. Mike is just a giving man. Oh, yeah. So we're back to square one. Well, so what? I, I I told the vlog, I was like, if anybody knows, it's the uh, ignition fuse keeps blowing, right? Yes. And uh, I've noticed a couple things here, and I'm speaking, I'm, I'm uneducated on gasoline engines, let alone diesel engines, but somewhere near there has to be a short. I hear ignition switch. I just can't imagine that's the problem. I, I don't think it's the starter because it happens before I even turn the key over to like start the engine. It's just whenever I'm letting the glow plugs warm up. It blows the fuse. That's when it blows. Yeah, so I, I think somewhere there's just a wire grounding out. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey, uh, I got a question for you, diesel uh, related. <clears throat> okay. So Bobby's truck, the uh, ignition fuse keeps blowing. Okay. Any idea what would cause that? If a fuse blows, that means there's a... Too much amperage is going through the circuit, so... Could be a short somewhere. Oh, there's a million reasons a fuse can blow. Anthony? What's up? What's up, buddy? What's going on? Uh, <clears throat> so, we got Victor's idea. Now I'm gonna ask you, because we're over oh, here, we're, we're troubleshooting right now, so... Bobby's OBS diesel truck, not that that really matters, but his ignition fuse keeps blowing. Any idea what would be the cause of that? Ignition fuse? Yep. So basically, when you put the key in, literally as soon as you turn the key on, or is it blowing even with the key off as soon as you put a new fuse in? It, it blows whenever I'm letting the glow plugs warm up. Like for two seconds after the, the truck's starting trying to warm up, it'll blow the fuse. The power wire going to start, the starter's not grounded off on like the side of the engine or frame or anything like that. So here's my dilemma because uh, I looked up a couple of videos on YouTube trying to cheat here. Uh -huh. um, I have a glow plug fuse Okay. here. It doesn't exist on the actual fuse box. Hmm. So I have a spare for it and there's like a hookup for it, but there's no like metal pin to actually receive it It's just like an open fuse. It's weird. Yeah, so this is oriented this way I'm assuming the top matches up here with this and I have a glow plug fuse Which is one off so down here should be a glow, glow plug fuse and a fuel solenoid it looks like And both of those are missing. Well, if John Deere man 2009 can't help us. I don't know who can't run from Yeah it looks like wires, but these are actually fusible links. If it's blowing that fuse, it'll probably smoke anyway. There you go. So that's it. That's it. Nice. We just put a wire in where the fuse was and it's working now. I know, this is not like a tutorial on how to fix it. We're just trying to figure out what's wrong with it. So don't kill us in the comments. 
but it's working right now. All right, and I guess that's about gonna do it for this upload, but yes, the Blazer is back and better than ever, and I uh, might even do a little, maybe a little kayaking in the vlog coming up here soon. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the Blazer and the whole lineup here. I think it's pretty epic. I've, I've never been so happy to come home and see all my vehicles in the driveway. If you did enjoy this upload, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.